In this video, I want to show you how you can install Windows 10 within Windows 10 on Hyper-V. This installation might be useful for you if you are doing some testings or if you want to adjust a Windows 10 environment that is completely separate from your local Windows 10 environment. If you want to use Windows 10 just for testing for something that doesn't need the VM to restart, you can also use something called Windows Sandbox. You can find a link in the description on how to use Windows Sandbox. I have done a prior video on this. So let's start. Here I'm going to use Hyper-V to install the Windows 10 VM. So I'm assuming that you have Hyper-V already enabled on your PC. If you don't have Hyper-V enabled on your PC, you can also look in the description for a link that will guide you step by step on how to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 10 PC. Please note that Hyper-V is only available on Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise and Education, and it is not available on Windows Home. So let's start. The first thing to do is to get the Windows 10 ISO image and of course the Windows 10 also product key. If you don't have the ISO image, you can download it from Microsoft website. So, as I said, if you have the ISO image, just feel free to skip to the next section, which is creating the VM in Hyper-V. So here, to download the ISO image, open your browser and go to this website, microsoft.com slash software dash download slash Windows 10 and hit enter. Let me maximize the window. And here, under create Windows 10 installation media, click on download tool now. So the tool will download and this tool will help you create and download a Windows 10 ISO image. So once it is downloaded, you need to open it. So I'm going to open it simply. Click yes if prompted. Let me minimize this window. It will take a minute just to prepare things. Just be patient and wait for it. And here you have your software license agreement. If you want to read it, feel free to read it. Click on accept. When the tool finishes preparing, it will give you two options. You need to select the second option, which is create installation media. And then click on next. And here it is showing you the recommended options. Of course, if you want to change them, you can uncheck this and choose the option you want. Here I'm okay with these options, so I'm going to keep them selected and then I'm going to click on next. And here I don't want to put the ISO image on the USB flash drive. I want to just to create an ISO file. So I'm going to select ISO and then I'm going to click on next. So it will ask you where you want to save the ISO file. I'm going to keep it under documents and then I'm going to click on save and it will save it under documents. And then the download will start here. So it is preparing the ISO image and it is downloading it at the same time. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. So when the download finishes, there's another automatic step that starts, which is verifying the download. So this should be very fast. And now, as you see, it is creating the Windows 10 media. It means that it is creating the ISO file. So just wait for it to finish. So now the ISO file is ready and it is here under the documents folder. At this stage here, we need to just close this one. So click on finish. And then we need now to go to the step where we create the VM in Hyper-V. So open Hyper-V Manager. And then in Hyper-V Manager, select your computer. And then here, click on New. And then click on Virtual Machine. Click on next, name it whatever you want. Here I'm going to name it Windows 10 test. And then click on next. Choose generation 2. Click next. And here, if your host allows it, give it a little bit more RAM. Here my host has 16 gigabyte RAM, so I'm going to give it 4 gigabyte RAM, which is equivalent to 4096 megabyte. And then click on next. For the connection here, click on the drop-down arrow 
and then choose default switch or if you have other switches that are connected depending where you want to connect your virtual machine here i'm going to keep it on the default switch and then click on next for the virtual hard disk i'm going to give it only 50 gigabyte of course give it the amount you want and it also depends on how much available space you have on your host machine also then keep everything by default here and click on next and for the installation of the operating system here you need to click install an operating system from a bootable image then click on browse and select the ISO image that we just prepared so it is under documents for me here click on it to select it and then click on open click on next and then click on finish we just need to make a small adjustment to the virtual machine because by default Hyper-V Manager creates a virtual machine with only one virtual processor, which is not enough for Windows 10. So click on it to select it. And then click on Settings. And here under Processor, give it two processors. And then click on OK. The next step is to connect to the VM. So select it and then click on Connect. It opens. Let me bring it in the middle. And here we need to start it. And when you start it here, you need to start it from the ISO file. So click on start and then click within the virtual machine and then hit any key on your keyboard to start from the ISO file. And it will start the installation. Now here select the options you want. This is a normal Windows 10 installation. I'm gonna go by it very quickly. Install now. So at this stage here, you can enter the product key. So enter the product key you have for Windows 10. Of course, you can skip it and then you can activate Windows 10 later. But I'm going to put it now. When you enter the product key, click on Next. And then here also feel free to read the license agreement. And then select I accept the license terms. Click on Next. And here you need to choose Custom because this is a new installation and it will select automatically the virtual machine disk just click on next and the installation of windows 10 begins so now the installation is finished and the virtual machine will restart The first restart will take a little bit of time. Just be patient and wait for it to finish. So here continue the installation of Windows as you usually do. So I'm going to select here the country. For me it is United States. And then click on yes. Of course select your own country. And then for the keyboard layout for me it is US also. So I'm going to click on yes. I don't want to add another layout. Skip. And this is basically just a Windows installation, but I'm going to walk you through it very quickly. And here you need to select if it is for an organization or for personal use. For me, it is for personal use. Next. And here it will ask you to use a Microsoft account. For me, I don't want to use a Microsoft account. I just want to create an offline account. So I'm going to click on offline account. And then... Click on limited experience and here I'm just going to name my account KST for knowledge sharing tech and then click on next, give it a password, click on next and confirm the password. Next again and here you need to fill in the security questions. I'm going to do it very quickly. Of course, fill in your own security questions. And the setup will continue. And here, for me personally, I don't like to turn on any of these things because for privacy reasons, I like everything here to be turned off. So I'm going to turn off everything. Feel free here to choose whatever you want. So it is off, off for everything. And then click on accept. 
and this screen here it will ask you if you want to set up Cortana I'm gonna choose to skip it for now and here it's asking you to configure the display the first time I'm just gonna click on connect so it will reconfigure the display put your own password and here of course you can resize the window however you want to resize it so here it is displaying you can resize it it is integrated with windows so it will automatically resize it and now here is windows 10 running within windows 10 so i'm just gonna show you still how to start it if you want to start it here you can operate it normally you can even put it in full screen mode if you want to to shut it down just shut it down as you normally would shut down windows 10 and to restart it you can from within hyper-v manager here so now it is turned off as you see from within hyper-v manager you can choose your windows 10 machine and then click on connect and then click on start here it will restart and another option also you can create a shortcut on your desktop to start it automatically i've made a video and the link is in the description on how to create a shortcut for avm in hyper-v so here simply click on start it will ask you if you want to revert to the previous automatic checkpoint here i don't want to revert so click on continue And here's Windows 10 started. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.